guys and welcome back to my channel and for day six of the fossil advent calendar so it's a new day so it's a new pair of dungarees I own way too many dungarees so this is a perfect excuse for me to show them all off to you guys but in today's video we're going to be talking about bivalves now yesterday I spoke about brachiopods so bivalves are another group of fossilized shells but they're not just fossilized they're still living today so we give those groups the name extinct because they're not extinct but they existed many, many years ago. So they also came into existence in the Lower Cambrian, so also around 500 million years ago, but the difference with bivalves is that they also have two valves, but they are of equal size. So they are completely symmetrical. Now I found some modern day bivalves. So modern day bivalves are like clams, oysters, that type of thing. But um, so these were just uh, some seashells on the seashore, tongue twister for you guys. But um, so they look like this. So unfortunately, this is going to be very confusing for you guys because they are in fact different sizes. So if I put them together like this, this is what a brachiopod is like. So this valve here is smaller, this one here is larger. Now on a bivalve, they drop this one down. So there, the hinge is equal. And then this one here would be the same size as this one. So they would be equal. And I know it's confusing because these are two different size shells. So I'm basically showing you brachiopods, but um, that was my attempt to use the limited resources I have here in France to explain this to you. Ideally, I really want to get a whiteboard of some sort. Like I think long-term, I can really visualize myself having an interactive whiteboard like on my wall, you know, the ones you find in schools. And I can just like draw things for you guys and really like try and explain it so you can learn as we learn basically, because I think that would be really fun for you all. But um, moving on, so bivalves are different to brachiopods also because they can be found in marine waters, so like the sea and the oceans, but also freshwater environments. So they don't need the salt content. They can also survive in lower salinity or no salinity. Again, sorry, salinity is the level of salt within the seawater. So um, I forget that I sometimes can just use terms that you guys would have never heard of before. But um, bivalves, they are also capable of like burrowing down into the seafloor or also into rocks. So they've got like a muscular foot and uh, it's pretty cool. Like there's some videos online of them moving around. So if you're interested, I'll link some down below of uh, living bivalves in action because they are some pretty crazy creatures and they're pretty awesome, I think. And we know that brachiopods use a lophophore to catch the nutrients and oxygen within the water whilst they stay stationary on the seafloor. Now bivalves don't have that organ, instead they use something called a siphon. Now I'll write it on the screen, I think I'm pronouncing this one right, but uh also might not be and they use it's kind of like a tube and they also use it to kind of catch things in the current as well so um yeah I'm afraid I don't have any fossilized bivalves to show you guys but I'll try and insert some pictures in a moment for you guys that I found elsewhere or that other people have found and I'll credit their Instagrams or wherever I found the source either on the screen or in the description box so credit to the owners I don't know quite how it works if I can uh, use content from elsewhere in YouTube videos or whether the copyright won't allow it but I'll make sure I reference all the content used and um yeah I hope you enjoy. So here are some living bivalve examples so we can see the two valves here and this is the type of shell that you would find washed up on the beach today so the fossils are very similar to the um, living organisms they haven't really evolved much since so these are just a few examples I found online we can see the two valves and it's mainly the um, shell that gets preserved not the organism itself so that's all I got for you guys today I really hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more and I'll also link my social media down below if you'd like to see even more fossil related content but thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow